All right. So here we are in R. We're going to talk about multicollinearity, VIF, and nested F tests. Uh, we're using the same packages as ever, and we're using some data about blood pressure. I gave it to you in a CSV called bloodpress.csv, uh, and I'm going to call it blood P. Um, and let me get it loaded in. My file path might be a little different than yours. All right. So this is a pretty small data set. It only has 20 observations, but it has seven variables. And we're gonna try and predict someone's blood pressure based on their age, their weight, um, and then their pulse and stress. And then let's read more about these other two variables. So we've got their body surface area, which is like their amount of skin sort of in meters squared. Um, and the duration of hypertension. So hypertension is a condition related to blood pressure. Um, and so that variable is called DUR and that's gonna be in years. So we're gonna try and predict uh, someone's blood pressure uh, based on these other variables and they're all numeric variables. Um, so one thing that we can do is we can make a pairs plot and there are two different ways to make a pairs plot or two that I know about. My favorite one is from the package ggalley, uh, which I think I had you install. And the function is called ggpairs and you can just run it on an overall data set. You can also um, like pipe in a select function uh, where you're selecting a certain number of variables, but we've only got seven here, so I'm gonna run it. Um, it takes a little while, but it will kind of tell you about the progress that it's making, which I love. And then it's just the most uh, information packed plot that you will ever see. So this is not something that you would make to give to someone else. This isn't like a finished visualization for communicating, but it is a really useful visualization for you as the analyst. Um, so it's more of a working visualization. And what it shows is the relationship between every variable and every other variable. So it shows you, for example, I could look at the relationship between blood pressure and age, and here's the scatter plot of those two variables. It looks like they have a positive relationship. Uh, blood pressure and weight, that looks like it has a really strong positive relationship. Uh, BSA, a little bit. It's looking kind of like noise with dir, pulse, and stress. Um, so I would want to be looking for strong correlations in this column because this is the thing that I'm trying to predict, blood pressure. So it looks like weight is going to be a good predictor. Uh, but then I don't want to have strong correlations between my other variables. So I don't want to have a strong relationship like the one that I can see here between weight and BSA. That looks pretty strong to me. So that would be uh, maybe an indication that there's some multicollinearity going on here. So I can look at those scatter plots. Um, I also get a visualization of the variable itself, just the distribution of blood pressure um, along the diagonal. So because it's sort of like blood pressure in itself, um, there's the distribution of blood pressure, the distribution of age, the distribution of weight, BSA, duration, pulse, and stress. And then above the diagonal, each of these boxes just has the correlation between the two variables. Um, and then there's some stars to tell you like how big of a correlation is it. So um, we have a really strong correlation between weight and blood pressure, okay. Uh, we have a strong correlation between BSA and blood pressure, pulse and blood pressure. Um, and again, we want correlations in this row because those are correlations with our response variable, but we don't wanna see strong correlations down here. So like this is kind of concerning that there's a 0.875 correlation between weight and BSA. And um, I can see that same kind of uh, relationship when I look at the other, you know, weight and BSA, that's the scatter plot. And then here's the correlation. Um, I also might be concerned about this 0.659 correlation, maybe this one 0.619, but I'm probably not concerned about things like 0.131. That's not very correlated. Okay. So if you don't have the ggalley package um, or you want something to just plot a little bit faster, the function pairs, it's a base R function, um, and we could just run that. This will give you the pairs plot 
Um, this one is just scatter plots, though. So you've got the scatter plot between BP and age, and then this is just age and BP. So it's just the same plot, but the axes are swapped. Um, so it doesn't give you nearly as much information as the, uh, the GG pairs plot, which is why I prefer that one. 